And now we're going to get investment advice and learn how and why to plan single, even if you're not, with uh, Darren Farwell of the Farwell Group. And uh, Darren, good morning. Good morning, Marilyn. So what are we talking about today? We've talked about the role of the executor a number of times, and um, I guess we're ready for a fresh topic. Yeah, role of exe- we had a lot of people interested in the role of the executor, so obviously that's something on people's mind. It's an important topic. So anybody who had, who heard the show role of executor would like to find out more about specifically what the role of the executor are, feel free to go to our Facebook page, The Farwell Group, or give me a call. We'll give the number later, and they can get that information. Marilyn, you talk about making informed decisions, and I've I've said many times on this show uh, how, in my professional opinion, how important it is to have access to per, to trusted financial and investment advice. That could come from an investment professional, but it certainly should be someone who you can trust to give solid advice because you don't know what you don't know. And not knowing can cost you lots of money. It can cost your beneficiaries lots of money, and we've had many stories about that. But earlier this month, I was reminded that sometimes, well, it's not always about what you don't know. Sometimes you do know, but you forget. I'm going to talk about that today. As I was mentioning, I was at a charity event early in July, and I got into a conversation uh, with a woman at the table. Here's her story. Let's call her Maria. She's 67. She's a widow. Her husband, a business owner, passed away about 10 years ago. At that time, Maria took over the business because even though she was not actually herself very involved, uh, his, his death, her husband's death, came suddenly, and her husband hadn't put in place a succession plan for the business. So you don't know how much that's going to cost you in advance, but I can assure you it will. Anyway, that's a different story for another day. Uh, in the meantime, don't do that. If you have a business, make sure you have a succession plan. So Maria's husband passed away uh, more, a little more than a decade ago. Her father passed away with dignity, peacefully in his sleep at age, six, at, at age 92 in 2016. Um, 92, that's an inspiration for me. I like the idea of being able to live with dignity and independence to age 92. But then her brother passed away quickly in early 2018. Now, her, Maria and her brother were very close. And yes, that sounds like a lot of death and grieving, but that was not her story. She wanted me to deliver a message to widows that I work with. The message is that, well, she knew, she'd heard this idea, don't make any significant decisions in the first year that you don't need to. You see, in recent years, uh, well, Maria has two grandchildren of her own. Her deceased brother has three grandchildren and her sister, one grandchild. And they all used to hang out at Maria's cottage in the summer. But after her father had passed away, and then very importantly, her brother, it was too emotionally overwhelming for her to go to the cottage. That experience just became too much for her. She didn't enjoy it. So in the fall of 2018, that's only eight months after her brother's passing, she sold the cottage. Well, this year, summer 19, she desperately wishes she hadn't. See, the grandchildren are missing their time together, and she's missing it too. In fact, she's probably going to turn around and buy another cottage back. Maria knew She'd heard that you shouldn't make unnecessary changes during the first year after something so emotional as someone close to you passing away. But she forgot. Perhaps a trusted third party, a professional advisor, a trusted advisor, uh, another kind, could have reminded her about that general rule. Don't make significant changes that aren't necessary within a year of someone's death. For most people, it's an overwhelmingly emotional time and not the right time to make uh, make decisions. It's just difficult to make well thought out, considered decisions at an emotional time like that. Of course, grief and circumstances, you know, are different for everybody. So because of that, we have a checklist and a timeline designed for the challenges and needs of widows uh, in mind. My team at the Farwell Group help women who have lost their spouse navigate this journey forward using an approach designed with their unique needs in mind. So if you'd like to check out that checklist, 
to help prioritize for widows prioritize what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done, what could be put off until later, what sort of things should be put off till later. Feel free to call or email us for the checklist. Also, feel free to visit us at the at our Facebook page, the Farwell Group. So, I guess. The lesson is when tears are blurring your eyes from loss, you should wait till they dry and make decisions that you're seeing clearly with. And often that might involve an eye doctor, so to speak, so you have glasses or whatever you need to have the perspective. So you're offering a checklist. It's an actual physical document that prioritizes the actions someone should take after a loss. Yeah, we, we have a checklist for sort of that early period after someone's had a loss so you can see the things that you need to to do and then we also highlight those things that you probably or you would consider putting off until a later time as you say perhaps when your eyes have dried a little i really like that analogy marilyn it's difficult to see clearly you know when when you're overwhelmed emotionally like that and no one's obligated to deal with your company just because they get the the uh, document from you, right? They can just call and ask for it? Absolutely. It's about education. We're just happy to provide people some, some tools and resources they can use um, at that time of life. So the phone number to reach you is 416-863-7501. Yes. And are you going to the office today? It's such a nice day. I am going to the office this morning. Hopefully I'll be out of there by about 1230. So if you are have experiencing a loss and you want to know what your actions should be and there are tears in your eyes, then take a pen and take your time and write down the number 416-863-7501. You'll be able to speak to Darren. You can ask your questions. You can ask for this checklist and you can have some guidance till your eyes stop tearing and you see clearly and then make those decisions. It's great advice, Darren. Thank you and thank you for Putting together the documents, I find that people love the guidelines that are concrete and written that they can follow, and I get positive feedback because of them. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. And Marilyn, you often say, I, I really like your saying, you know, it's never too early and never too late to plan. You know, there are, I, we're aware that there are a number of people out there who, you know, they know that this is coming, and it's always a good idea to do a little planning ahead of time, so that will allow you to have more clarity, and make the process a little easier. So sometimes it's worthwhile thinking about these topics ahead of time. Well, you've illustrated to me that you need a GPS and that having a map to, to go where your destination is. And in life, we don't always know that we're going to get there, but at least if we know where the pit stops are and we make it a little easier, it lightens our load. So if you have questions for Darren or you want this checklist to prioritize your actions after a loss, give Darren a call at 416 863 7501. The Farwell Group, it's on Facebook, and there's a link from my website, marylins.ca. Darren, thank you. Um, I know you have issues with your voice and struggled through this interview, but the information was worth listening to. Thank you. You're welcome.